Don't be mad cause I don't come around the way like I used to. I don't have time these days. Take one dope MC, add a primo DJ, and what do you get? One of the East Coast's most influential rap duos. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the history of Gangstar. Now is the chance to advance and get an outlook. Create the circumstance because I doubt books can relate. Words this way, so I'll portray a new image. And let's begin as... Gangstar formed in Boston, Massachusetts in 1985. Comprised of Keith Elam, otherwise known as Guru, as well as various DJs and producers, the group released three vinyl singles until splitting up in 1989. Since no original members wanted to carry on, Guru recruited DJ Premier, previously Waxmaster C, and together they dropped their critically acclaimed debut, No More Mr. Nice Guy, that same year. These are the words that I manifest. I manifest. Gangstar then released Step in the Arena on Chrysalis Records in 1991. The hip-hop album was an instant classic and garnered much praise from fans and critics. I was raised like a Muslim, praying to the East. Nature of my life relates rhymes I release like a king. Cause I've been planning to be hammering what I wrote straight on a plate down your throat. The group's third album, 1992's Daily Operation, touched on subjects like women on Ex Girl to the Next Girl. Yes, I fell in love with this ill chick. And emotion on Take It Personal. Cause when I pay you back, I'll be hurting you. And this ain't no threat, so take it personal. In fact, that single reached number one on the Billboard Hot Rap Singles chart. The record is now regarded as one of the earliest representations of Brooklyn hip hop and Gangstar's finest work. The members of Gangstar then decided to focus on solo careers. Guru released his debut, Guru's Jazzamataz Volume 1, which was a blend of rap and jazz. Check it out, if I could give you the world, you know I do it, everything at your feet. And nothing to it, but it's hard, sweetheart, and it's rough out here. But I doubt there is anybody else for me. Meanwhile, DJ Premier produced for some of rap's best, namely Nas, KRS-One, and the Notorious B.I.G. This period also marked the formation of the Gangstar Foundation, which was made up of several artists who often worked with and were associated with the group throughout their career. The duo reunited in 1994 to unveil Hard to Earn. This album was a change for the group as they left behind their melodic sound for a grittier, more hardcore vibe. Take this for example, young brothers want rap, cause in the life they're living, you can't have step. It reached the second position on the top R&B hip hop albums chart and spawned the single Mass Appeal, which was a top 10 hit on the Billboard Hot Rap Singles chart. And you'd be happy as hell to get a record deal. Maybe your soul you'd sell to have Mass Appeal. During the next few years, Gangstar went back to their solo careers. In 1995, Guru released Guru's Jazzmataz Volume 2, The New Reality. <laughs> Meanwhile, DJ Premier had become one of the hottest producers in the rap game, and this led to work with artists like Fat Joe, Jay-Z, M.O.P., and Rakim to name a few. In 1998, the twosome released what some called their comeback album, Moment of Truth. Everybody's spitting it, the rhyme is hot, cause it's Big Shook Guru and Freddie the Fox. When Premier bring the beach, no, it just don't stop, it's the militia. The record featured a refreshed gangstar with a modernized sound and a stable of featured artists. It reached the Billboard 200 Top 10 and marked the first time Gangstar debuted at number one on the top R&B hip hop albums chart. The gold certified effort also generated the lead single, You Know My Steez, which peaked at number five on the hot rap singles chart. Yo, they must wanna fry, they can't touch the knowledge I personify. I travel through the darkness carrying my torch, the illest soldier when I'm holding down the the next few years saw the release of the double disc collection, full clip, A Decade of Gangstar, and more solo and production work. Despite doing well with critics and on the charts, Gangstar's last studio album together was 2003's The Owners. With a sound reminiscent of the group's golden days, the record placed in the Billboard 200 Top 20 and at number 5 on the Billboard Top R&B Hip Hop Albums chart. Skills, top rank, point blank, we vital. Spit flow, flip shows, peak to recital. Skills, top, you feel it when we drop those hot beats. Stop foes, killing shit, we got those. Skills. However, 2006 marked the official end of Gangstar as the members went their separate ways. DJ Premier continued producing for some of hip hop's biggest names as well as underground 
underground rappers. He even ventured into the mainstream by working with Christina Aguilera. All the while, Guru forged on with solo projects until his cancer-related death on April 19, 2010. Since Gangstar's creation, their music has appeared in films such as Mo Better Blues and 8 Mile, as well as video games like Grand Theft Auto 4 and Skate It. Their ability to appeal to a diverse audience has inspired many imitators, but no one has ever come close to recreating the chemistry and style these icons shared. With DJ Premier's production skills and Guru's one-of-a-kind voice, Gangstar was influential in so many ways and truly represented hip-hop at its core.